Alright, today there is no more RBY recap and the reason for that is that my team has been eliminated and I mean I just don't have the motivation for this tier anymore. I am extremely burnt out and okay well this will be a long very personal video where I go over just my experiences as PL as a whole. Um, so if you're expecting anything insightful about the meta game, well, this is not the video for you. This is just me talking about my my SPL experience and and my future in in tournaments in general. So if that sounds like something you care about, then watch on. But I expect most people will click away now, and that's fine with me. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about this. Um, to explain sort of, you know, why I'm stopping here and and what's next. So, um, when I put myself to something, when I really decide to dedicate myself to something, if there's something that is my only priority for a bit, I am learning through multiple experiences that I last a month and a half or so before I can't bear to look at it anymore. I just burn out extremely hard if I only do one thing for a month and a half. And in in past years, um, I had support or I had wins or I had other things to do. In some ways, in, other, in past years, I could keep myself motivated through, through the, the slog that is nine weeks of SPL. Um, but this year I had none of that, and so well, uh, what happened is for four weeks, I I play I had incredible prep. It was genuinely some of the best work I've ever done in in RBY. I think it was phenomenal. I got good matchups all over the place, and well, and I played very well as well. But um, unfortunately, I had two losses to atrocious luck and one loss where I was so focused on on you know prep work and and thinking about the game uh, that I, I lost sleep and I lost enough sleep to the point of my performance um, deteriorating and so that was my week three loss and I had two awful luck losses in week two and week four and when you've been putting your entire uh, month all of your free time in one month uh, towards one project and and what you have to show for it is a 1-3 record uh, it's it's hard to keep going um, and so for for Groudon I, I managed to win but that's that's somebody who hadn't played that year before so that that one was not really um, expensive in terms of energies and focus so so Groudon was fine um, but uh, by week six again, uh, I just kept stressing and stressing and I kept dedicating mental space without having mental energy. And so what happened is that I would worry so much about being in good shape, uh, but I wouldn't actually have the, the, the enjoyment in, in the activity to actually produce good results. Because I think at the end of the day, um, this, this is a result of not enjoying, um, the, the 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 process anymore um, because I mean as much as uh, as much as I enjoy in general as much as I am passionate for the tier um, I I compete at a top level because I want to win and when when you miss wins in in ways that I missed my wins it, it really threw me off balance um, I mean, it's an entire year, honestly, uh, where I've had little to no luck in any tournament joined. I've had little to no luck um, in um, in individuals for all of 2021 as well. I mean, Global Championship, atrocious luck in semifinals, uh, RBY Invitational, which is the biggest prize pool tournament by far in the history of the tier. Uh, I, I, I got just horrendous luck. And I mean, ugh. there's only so much I can take of this tier um, before I need a strong break, and <laughs> and unfortunately I hit that limit on my on my uh, mental faculties in the middle of the season, 
And I mean, I, I kept trying to, to push as much as possible for week 7 and week 8, but uh, very clearly I, I did not have the... Um, I mean, very clearly, I mean, I thought about prepping way more than I actually prepped, you know? Like, I, I prepped a total of 3 hours in 2 weeks, and in the first 4 weeks I prepped like 20 hours every week. Like, it's, it's, it's night and day. It's a complete abyss. Um, and, I mean, I, I, I just wanted to talk about this because I think it's easy to forget that um, behind the players there are people. And, well, most people don't really, uh, most people don't talk about this kind of stuff, you know? They just take the game uh, as a game, they, they play it, like, they, like it, it's, not, it's not that serious to them. Um, but I, I allowed myself to, to take this SPL very seriously, and so uh, when, when things started going wrong and when I ran out of energies, it was extremely, extremely... <laughs> depressing um but uh you know uh i think this is something i've learned uh, i cannot approach spl the same way um and so that that's just something i carry on for the future and i will walk away from this tournament with a record that is either two seven or three six which is six or seven wins less than what i wanted uh, but it's it's it happens i suppose i mean this game is not i mean every time you enter into a game of pokemon you have to contend with your opponent and with luck and so i mean i'm okay uh, <laughs> knowing that i i controlled as much as i could on any given week and it just wasn't enough and it's a shame because i felt like i had potential for way more it's a shame because i feel like as a player when i am fighting on all cylinders i am Truly, truly, way stronger than what this record shows. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, I've had, uh, I've won an SPL uh, with my team on a year where I went 5-5. And then I had a good year individually in SPL 11 where I went 7-4. Um, which is like, it's not stellar, but it's respectable. And, and so, you know... Uh, if if this is it for me, if I decide that I don't want to handle SPL level competition anymore, um, I think I have enough in my in my history to to be satisfied with that, to to just play casually and be be okay. Um, because I mean, I also have um, in 2019 in the first RBY Invitational. I had great luck and I and I won it from winner's bracket without dropping a series. So, uh, and and I won a global championship in 2020. I mean, I've had my streaks of good luck in the past, and so I think it's fair that I get a streak of bad luck now. You know, it's not. It, it makes sense uh, <laughs> for for luck to average out over time. Uh, it makes sense that I won two individuals in the past and now I have uh, much drier spells coming but it still sucks to be in those drier spells it sucks to play for a year and just get every time when it matters bad luck um and it, i mean it, ha it happens to everybody at some point if you play for long enough uh, which is the unfortunate reality of this game um but yeah i mean that's it that's it for me i think <laughs> like i i don't want to look at rby anymore for for a for a few months probably um, I will I will play it I will show up and load a team and play it for ten minutes but I'm done with with taking this tier seriously I'm done with deep analysis I'm done with spending tens of hours uh, dozens of hours going over replays of of my opponents I I'm done with all of that deep stuff because um, it just hasn't been rewarding for me in too long and I mentally don't have the enjoyment for it anymore um so so this is all a long-winded way to say i'm extremely burnt out <laughs> on the game um but i think maybe there is some insight for um people who have similar approaches to me maybe people who um i don't know who, who have these kinds of uh struggles with with the game 
maybe you can find some some lessons you can learn from my mistakes instead of doing these things yourself. <laughs> um, that's that's what I'm hoping for uh, by by sharing this video. Um, so that's that's a retrospect on on my on my season, I guess, on my SPL 13. And I want to talk about now. I want to talk now about what I will do in in the future, um, which is to say, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I will do in the future. Um, I want to branch out. I still enjoy playing Pokemon. I just don't enjoy the tier OU at the moment, RBYOU. So I will play. Uh, there's the the RBYU Invitational that maybe I will try. Um, there's GSC Ubers which I've been really enjoying. Um, I'm in the finals of uh, Ubers Winter Tour, and there will be um, there will be Ubers PL soon, I believe. Um, so maybe I will join that. I mean, there are a lot of tiers that are I just want to enjoy with lower stakes after SPL. I want to continue working as a tournament director uh, to improve our circuits. I think that's very important to me. I want to continue working on Ruins of Alf to improve these circuits as well. I want to... I think there is a, a lot of stuff that I want to do with Pokemon. Um, so, uh, I mean, there is so much ahead that I honestly cannot say uh, whether any one of these things uh, will will turn out how I expect it. <laughs> you know, it's hard for me to say in six months from now how much of my goals will I have achieved, how much more will be still on the table. Um, uh, what 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 tier will I main? I mean, maybe maybe I just learn every old gen and, and go for classic. Like who the fuck knows? You know, I say this it's so far in the future. I just know that for a while I want to uh, diminish my my involvement in in high level RBY. I will I will do my duties as community leader, as owner of the Discord, the mod of the forum, all of these things. I will continue doing, um, you know, community service is is how I think of <laughs> of my my um, roles. Um, I will continue to to just give whatever I can to try to help people get better at RBY, um, because at the end of the day, um, I, as I said earlier in the video as well, I'm, I'm happy with my achievements already. I can get more, but I don't need more. And so uh, at this point, I just want the RBY community to grow. I would, I would want nothing more than for uh, the prices that we saw at this auction in SPL. Um, you know, the first ever RB wire that went for over 20k, uh, I think it was, what, 7 or 8 people in the starter pool who went for 10k or more. Um, if that can happen every year, if RB wire can gain that sort of reputation as just an extremely competitive, extremely tough pool in the long term, uh, I would be delighted uh, regardless of whether I'm part of that pool or not, because, you know, I feel like RB YOU is sort of my... Home is my um, my personal project in some ways. Is the growth of this tier, and so um, I, I I just want to see people get better, and I will continue to do what I can um, to make that happen. And and in that sense, I also think uh, it makes no sense for me to to spend so many of my energies on on selfish, um, you know. Uh, study and and uh, deep deep uh, just completely submerging myself in in preparation for my opponents to make sure I my personal record gets a little better like that at the end of the day like that's that's the spirit of competition like it's it's great um, but it only helps me and I think I I've done enough helping myself <laughs> um, and I want to do some helping the community. Um, I think there is more that I can do to, to help this tier grow. I think I've been extremely happy with my seven recaps until now. Um, and I, I, it's a shame that I ran out of energies for them. Um, but I will try to do more content, more analysis, more forum posts, more guides, whatever I can. Um, this is 
what r really I, I I just want people to get better at RBY. I want the pool next year to keep improving, and then the, the year after that it needs to improve again and then again and again. And I want just the tier to to continue going upwards, um, because I think it's been given just a completely unjustified reputation in the past in Smogon history. It was always seen as a luck tier. And I think it's no different from all other Pokemon tiers. All of Pokemon is luck, uh, to to roughly the same degree. And so I I took it upon myself to um, to to try and change that perspective. And I'm I'm proud to say that over time uh, that that has changed, that has worked. Uh, but we're still we can still do a lot more. And I'm hoping that I can cultivate new players into into war machines. <laughs> uh, that's 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 what I want. Um, because at the end of the day, I know that um, for myself, uh, I I don't have the mental uh, fortitude to endure a tough season. I I don't. My approach to the game very clearly, this SPL has failed. And in the past, I mean, even in past years, every every time after SPL, I was supremely burnt out. I never wanted to look at RBY again. Um, as soon as SPL ends, I'm always I'm always feeling like this. And so, uh, I I am probably not built for um, this kind of permanent grind. Um, on, on one tier. Um, I think if I can raise other people uh, to be players who are capable of this grind, um, then that, that would be uh, ideal for me. Uh, I mean, I, I if the RBY pool gets so good that I no longer deserve a spot in FPL, I'm happy. Like, that is my goal. <laughs> My goal is to not be in SPL anymore, um, and so that, that's what I want, and that's what I will try to do this year. Uh, when I have energies to dedicate to this tier, I will I will do so. Uh, but I also have lots of things for myself that I want to do. I want to challenge myself in other tiers. Um, I want to learn doubles, uh, which is a big priority for me. I want to open myself some windows to, to SCL, potentially. Um, maybe I will learn other old gens, and I mean, definitely I will do a lot of work um, from tournament director perspective and, and Ruins of Alf perspective um, to make sure that Smogon is, is growing as much as, as much as I can physically make it happen. Um, so yeah, that's where I'm at. That is why... Uh, I'm content with stopping the recaps here because I know I have this uh, long-term goal of of doing more, and so I know that uh, whatever energies I am not spending today on on deep analysis, I will for sure spend in the future. I will make up for it. And um, but yes, I mean that's that I think that just about covers everything I wanted to say in in this video. I didn't have a script. I didn't write anything down. I just sort of. <laughs> <laughs> one take I just said whatever came to mind uh, but I think that that covers most of it and so if you if you stuck around to hear me ramble uh, uh, thank you very much um, I hope I hope you will be here in the future I hope I will be able to bring you uh, more videos uh, more anything to to make RBY grow to make Smogon grow um, I I want this community to, to, to shine as much as possible. And I will I will do my best. And for this SPL I'm afraid to say my best was not enough. For the future I will continue trying to be mindful of my mental energies and, and and balance everything so that I can be as efficient as possible. And yeah, that's that's my message for today. And um hopefully this inspired you or hopefully it's it, it made you realize some things about your own approach to Smogon. Um, or, or hopefully maybe it was just interesting, at least, <laughs> to have this insight into my mind. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's everything. Uh, I'll see you. I don't know when I'll see you. I'll see you next video. 
no promises. 